are guides, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can Yeah Kings demanding change cause we believe we can The Lord said warn my people from me right. We bring in the scriptures out to warn you of what's to come don't get upset with us because we're the messenger literally right. read Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17 thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart you heard that thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart which means your mind you can't just all of a sudden oh let me just stare at this brother I'm just a bro, I ain't playing with you bro stop no 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 we're not here for that we're not here for that bro we're here to deliver the word you know that you know that. That's why you showed up. That's why you got to go where you're going. But you know we're about this work. No, there's no gangs standing on the corner and you going up to them staring at them like that. You're not doing that because you know they're about that action. With us, you can do that because you know we're not going to do nothing to you. But guess what we're going to do? We're going to reveal your sinner to you, brother. And your sin is you got much hatred inside of you for your family. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. That's what we doing. Because you are a brother, we're going to rebuke you as a neighbor and tell you got much hatred on you. Give me that, give me that thing. Give me that thing in John now. Give me that. Because brothers is walking up and down, don't know that they're breaking the laws of God just by what he's doing. He's thinking that's just his opinion. Oh, I'm upset. I don't like the way I was spoken to. But right now, you don't understand. You're already crossing over and breaking the law. Yes, my brother, you're breaking the law. We're going to bring it out. Let's read James 2.10 right after I read this. Come on. First John chapter 3 and verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. You heard that? Whosoever hates their brother is a murderer. Come on. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. You heard that? No murderer has eternal life abiding in him. So right now you're looking at us like we the devil, but you got the devil on you. Now give me that James chapter 2 and verse 10 for my brother. Let's read that. Come on. James chapter 2 and verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Okay, what does that mean, brother? We brought out the scripture. What does that mean? What does that mean? No, no, no. You just asked us to read it. We read it. Now why did you want to bring that out? So you're saying that we're offending the law. You're saying that we're not keeping the law. Read it again for the brother. Come on. James chapter 2 and verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Okay, what, what are we saying, brother? What are we saying? Don't know. Now, y'all can see clearly. When we bring out the Bible, do we just say something and keep on moving? No, we break it down. We make you understand. I'm trying to figure out, why did you pull that scripture, bro? Why? What is your point of bringing that scripture out? We are we offending? We are we breaking the law? You're supposed to be able to show us that. So the answer is you don't know. Well, now I'm going to show you where you're breaking the law. All of them. All of them. I just showed you where you're breaking a murder law. You're a murderer. That, that part we're going to bring out. Now give me the give me the beard law. We're going to get on everything with this brother. Bring it out. We're going to get on everything with this brother. That's when you're good. dealing with the Israelites, make sure, make sure, make sure that you know what you're talking about when you're dealing with us. You understand what I'm telling you? Go to church and do that. Go talk to your pastor and do that. Unless you're a pastor. And if you are, you're terrible. And if you are, you can't teach nothing. Because you don't know this book. Read. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. My brother, it looks to me like you're bald underneath that cap. Did you shave your hair all the way off? Because God said, do not make your head bald. Read it again. Give me 21 and 5. That's a more clear. Sometimes people act like they don't hear, oh, that's old. It's the, it's the old English. I don't understand. No, we're going to read it very clearly. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5, my brother. That's right. 
They shall not make baldness upon their head. How clear is that? They shall not make baldness on their head. How clear is that? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beards. That's very clear. That's a commandment, my brother, which I'm breaking. Give me the law on fringes. Give me the law on fringes. Give me the law on the Sabbath. Brothers want to bring out the, 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 the scriptures, James chapter 2 and 10 about offending in one part of the law, but yet keep no parts of the law. Because what? In his church, in his mind, he believes that we're no longer supposed to keep the law. God said to keep the law. Christ said to keep the law. That's right. When you read this Bible, he said keep the law, not do away with the law. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That's right. The seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. Meaning what? You're only supposed to work the six days. But on that seventh day, you're done. Give me the buying and the selling. I want that in Nehemiah chapter 10. Because the brother's walking around with much packages today. He's using this as his what? His getaway day. The Lord said no. This is the day of rest. I said no buying and selling and what? Brothers want to pull the scriptures, don't know basic scriptures. Come on. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring well or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We are not to buy anything today or sell on the Sabbath day or what? Or on the holy day. Or on the high holy days. So we're not supposed to buy or sell. So when a brother comes up with the Bible and says, listen, you're breaking the law. Where are we breaking the law? You're supposed to show us. we showing the people where they're breaking the law. When we got people walking up and down, they're homosexual. We say, brother, you're breaking the law as a homosexual. My brother, you're a drug dealer. You're breaking the laws of, of, the, of God. You're killing your people. You're a murderer. You understand that? When we tell the people that what? My brother, you're an adultery. You're breaking the laws of God. You understand? So when you come up here now, want to pull a scripture, you better explain. But what? Brothers have no understanding. Brothers have no understanding. Give me that thing in, uh, in Matthew about keeping the law. About not one John and one two. Because what? Y'all think that Christ came and changed what? The Bible? No. Christ said to keep the law. The only thing Christ changed was the law of sacrifice. That's why you don't see nobody sacrificing uh, 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 pigeons or whatever they was uh, sacrificing back then. Animals, lambs, all of that. That's not to be done anymore. But the law is in effect. If the law was not in effect, then there's, that's all right for a man to cheat on his wife. Or a wife to cheat on her husband or for me to steal. If the law is not in effect. But guess what? We all know the law is in effect. But when you don't have the proper understanding or the proper uh, uh, teaching, this is what happens. You got what I want? Come on. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 27. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. You heard that? Christ said, this is Jesus the Christ. He said, think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. Meaning what? All the things written in the Old Testament and the rest of the law. Christ ain't come to do away with that. He came to do away with one thing. Come on. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. You heard that? Until heaven and earth pass away shall not one part of this law be done away with. But what? Christ came and did away with the what? The sacrificial law because he was the sacrifice. Right. That's what you don't understand. That's what you do not understand. So when a man is, is, is bringing out James chapter 2 and verse 10, go back to that. Go back to James chapter 2 and verse 10. Because what? That means you saying that we're offended in one part of the law. We're supposed to be able to tell me where. Tell me where. So we can change our ways. That's what this is about. So we can repent. That's why we're bringing it to you and everybody else out here, my brother. You're supposed to be able to change when you hear this. But you got hatred. You have much hatred, bro. You got to work on that, bro. You got to examine yourself. You must examine yourself 100%. You must 100% examine yourself, my brother.
say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.